I have voiced some concern about Merrick Garland. Uh, he is uh, the judge that uh, President Obama has nominated for the Supreme Court. Uh, he thinks he's particularly clever, President Obama does, because Merrick Garland is pretty conservative. And so he's like, I'll trick the Republicans. I'll nominate someone who has a lot of conservative positions. And on the rest of his positions, we're not really sure <laughs> that'll get the Republicans, because then they'll be embarrassed uh, into voting for him. But why would we want them to vote for him? So if, if you haven't heard, and you almost certainly haven't if you watched any media outside of this, uh, and a couple of websites here and there, what his actual positions are. Merrick Garland uh, voted to enhance Citizens United. Now a lot of people are making excuses for him, Democratic Party is. No, it was president and he had to do it. No, the FEC made a, a case, a very strong case, that he didn't have to do it in that particular case. He could have ruled the other way, but he chose not to. And he didn't just back Citizens United, he made it stronger, he enhanced it. Okay. I, I, among the spectrum of judges that a president, a Democratic president could pick, I'm not sure I could find a worse one. The number one issue is get money out of politics. This guy's like, like no. I mean, look, for, maybe he has a secret opinion, but the public opinion is, yay, Citizens United. Okay, now, to me, because of the precedent issue, maybe you could make an argument, yada, yada. I wouldn't take that chance. There's no way I'd take that chance in a million years. But for me, what ended it was his opinions on habeas corpus. Habeas corpus is really the oldest principle of Western jurisprudence, of Western law entirely in our whole society. It says the government cannot just kidnap someone, put them in jail, and never charge them. They've got to show him. Uh, they've got to present his body to a court and say, here he is, and here are the charges against him. If you don't have that, you really don't have anything. You have no rule of law. During the Bush years, when Bush administration was doing exactly that in Guantanamo, and they wanted to have the legal right to be able to say, no, no habeas corpus, rip up the U.S. Constitution, the Magna Carta, everything else. Merrick Garland voted with the Bush administration to say that there should not be habeas corpus rights. I'm done with the guy. You kidding me? That, that is not remotely progressive. That's not within a continent of progressive. Yet, of course, every Democratic and progressive group in Washington, funded by the same donors that give money to the Democratic Party, oh, Merrick Garland deserves a vote. Merrick Garland, wouldn't it be great if he won? No, it wouldn't be great. It would be a disaster. So now, the reason I bring this up to you is because Senator Jeff Flake, who's a Republican, was on television and he was asked about this. Listen to what he says at the end. You want to wait for the election. You think the, the voters should have a say in this before dealing with uh, the Supreme Court vacancy. Now that uh, Donald Trump is a presumptive nominee, uh, have you changed your mind on that, uh, no, on that pledge? I think Republicans are more than justified in waiting. Uh, that is following uh, both principle and precedent. Uh, but the principle is to have the most conservative, qualified jurists that we can have on the Supreme Court, uh, not that the people ought to decide before the next election. I've never held that position. If we come to a point, I've said uh, all along, where we're going to lose the election or we lose the election in November, uh, then we ought to approve him quickly uh, because I'm certain that he'll be more conservative than a Hillary Clinton nomination come January. Did you get that? So if a Democrat wins, the Republicans will be like, yes, Garland, yes, we vote yes, yes. Oh, he doesn't even believe in habeas corpus. How are we this lucky? You think Obama's going to withdraw him? <laughs> He's not going to withdraw him. Obama likes Merrick Garland. Constitution, progressive, civil rights. Now you think that's outrageous. How dare you say Obama doesn't care about civil rights? No, no, he cares about things that affect him. He ain't down in Guantanamo. <laughs> believe me, he's taking away a lot of rights of, uh, of people in other countries as he is bomb them, drone strike them, even with oftentimes without even knowing who they are, uh, and the list goes on and on. <laughs> Money in politics, you think Obama wants to solve that? Why do you think he's president? Because he got the most amount of money. Okay, Money in politics has done nothing but help Barack Obama. So I, I know everybody in Washington is like, how dare you? Obama is super progressive, and by definition, anyone he nominates must be progressive. It ain't the truth. Look at his actual record. And by the way, in that habeas corpus decision, he was not following precedent. Even the conservative Supreme Court voted in the other direction and said, no, 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 of course 
you have habeas corpus rights. Of course you can't just kidnap people and hold them forever without ever trying them. That's preposterous. But that's what Merrick Garland believes. So whether it's a Democratic president or a Republican president, look at that. That's the one reason they tell you, bow your head and no matter who it is, vote for a Democrat. Because we're going to get money out of politics and we're going to get the right Supreme Court justices. What they don't tell you is, maybe not. Maybe we'll trick the Republicans into giving them a conservative justice. Wow, what a trick indeed. Looks like they're looking forward to that trick. I think it might be on us.